Hello, my dear students. Welcome to the last lecture on the dummy variable regression model. So, in last many lectures, we have been discussing about different uses of this dummy variable technique. Okay. So, today I am introducing you one more technique of this dummy variable model. Okay. That is to find out the coefficient of a piecewise linear regression model. Okay. So, what is a piecewise linear regression model? I will show you. Okay. Let me take an example. A company remunerate its sales staff based on commission. So, as you know that uh, the commission is basically based on a particular threshold level or particular target levels. Okay. That means if up to a particular target, this will be this much percentage will be the uh, commission and if you are going beyond this target then this will be your commission that means there will be a two commission structure okay and this one structure is the normal structure that is up the target level okay and uh, beyond this target level there will be another commission structure okay so this means that you look at this day you look at the graph okay this is the commission and this is the sales okay and this is the target level x star okay what does it means whenever your sales increases your commission will increases at a particular rate but for a particular point of time this particular point this point is the threshold level or target levels okay and after that again if this uh, sales staffs are increasing their sales then they will be paid more commissions okay and this is the second this is the regression line so what this means this regression line has two pieces first piece and the second piece what is the peculiarity of this first and second piece the second piece the regression uh, the regression line has more steeper or the steeper than that of the first segment that means the first segment and second segment the slope coefficient will be different the slope of the line will be different okay so a regression line with more than one slope is known as piecewise regression models okay and this piecewise is a particular type of regression model in which there are two segments for a regression first segment and second segment and this either of the segment will be more steeper than the other okay yes. <clears throat> now we have two segments and there will be look at this this is the slope of this line and this is the slope of this line you by looking at the graph itself you can understand that the slope coefficient will be or the if it, the slope coefficient of the second segment is much higher than that of the first segment okay so for understanding uh, suppose if you want to find out this coefficients a simple OLS we cannot use okay but OLS can be used if the dummy variable is assigned okay so how we can transform this model you look at the regression equation now okay y i is equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 x that means uh, commission is based on sales okay and beta 2 x i minus x star what is this x i minus x star it is nothing but whether a sales person is achieving its target or not x minus x star means x star is the target x i is the actual sales okay and this this variable is multiplied with a dummy and this dummy will show that whether the sales person is achieving the target or not achieving the target okay then press the error term 
okay and i am assigning dummy in such a way that if dummy is equal to 1 then xi is x star that means this combat this stuff sales is greater than the target level then i am assigning the one okay then if i am assigning zero for those who have not achieving the target okay so what will be the average commission of those who are achieving target and those who are not achieving the target that we can find out by simply substituting the value 0 and 1 for this dummy okay and if i assign this d is equal to 0 then this will be the slope and intercept parameter that means beta 0 plus beta 1 xi okay and if i am assigning 1 for that then it will be beta 0 plus this is this will be the plus okay uh, beta 2 x star plus beta 1 plus beta 2 okay yes so in this equation this beta 1 will give you the slope of the regression line in the segment 1 because segment 1 is the those regression line in which the people are not achieving the target okay and this beta 1 plus beta 2 gives the slope coefficient of the line or segment 2 of this piecewise linear regression model okay so using this technique we can find out the coefficient of two uh, segment of a piecewise linear regression how we can do let us check using excel okay so let me take a hypothetical example okay so this is a hypothetical example not real example okay and this is basically the commission sorry i am just putting y don't confuse with commission and don't confuse it but i am just putting y y and x okay this y is my commission and this x is the sales okay then what is the target the target level is fixed by the management or by the firm okay assume that the target is 5500 what does it mean up to 5500 these people are getting a particular level of a particular rate of commission and beyond this 5500 they are getting more commissions okay yes now what we have to do we have to check whether each person in this are getting or they are fulfilling their target or not for that what we can do we just we can just minus or subtract this a target from each sales okay so this was the first person sales he has only done thousand sales and this was the target so he is a 4500 short of the target if you do it for all then you can you will get the information okay it means that four sales staff they have not achieved the target so five staffs okay and five staff they have achieved their target okay yes now i can assign a dummy for zero for not achieving the target so this zero 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 one 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 so i have assigned the dummy okay zero four not achieving the target is not achieving the target okay and one for those people who have achieved the target okay now what i have to do x minus x star into d because i am i want to get the differential slope coefficient so i need to in i need to introduce interaction dummy okay so this is the variable this is your dummy you multiply it both then you do it for all you will get x minus x star d okay now you look at the equation you need y x x minus x star t into d everything we have achieved everything we have 
got okay so what we have to do you do a regression okay you do a regression by yes you do a regression on y on x and x minus x star d how we can do go data data analysis regression then y range is this is the y range and this is the x range okay the label is there you just click ok yes okay yes now what you can understand this is your beta 0 this one okay and this is your beta 1 this is your beta 2 okay then look at this what was our in what was this uh, uh, the what was the main idea the beta 1 give you the slope of the regression line in segment 1 and beta beta 1 plus beta 2 will give you the slope of the regression line of the segment 2 okay so this is the beta 1 it means that it is 0 0.279 okay and this beta 2 this is the 0 0.0945 okay so from this what we can understand there is a clear picture of uh, there's a clear picture which tell us that this both coefficients are different that means there is a clear distinction between the, so there's a clear uh, differences between the slope of the first segment and the slope of the second segment okay yes. so this is the base since this is a hypothetical example we the result which we are getting is no will not be uh, will not match but even though this is the basic idea about uh, how we can do how we can use the dummy variable technique to find out the coefficients of this uh, piecewise linear regression model okay yes yeah uh, here it is not beta 2 okay so this is basically uh, beta 1 will give you the slope of the first segment okay so it is this one okay then actually the beta 2 is the difference between the two segment okay so it will be slope of the uh, second segment okay and that is beta beta 0 plus sorry beta 1 plus beta 2 okay so that is C equal to this plus this yes 37 okay so the first segment it is the slope is 2.29 0 0.29 and the second it is 0 0.37 okay and that's why we are saying that the second segment segment are more steeper than the first second because in in all this kind of uh, piecewise regression we will get this kind of a regression result okay yes so with this we have finished the uses of the regression model use of this dummy regression model and we are finishing this chapter with this module okay and uh, you might have a confusion about what will be the uh, functional form of this regression line okay uh, what is function of this uh, dummy regression line because in dummy, in dummy regression model this uh, explanatory variable are always expressed in two different values one and zero okay apart from the other quantitative factors okay and this zero if there is zero then it cannot be expressed in logarithm okay so we cannot use log linear model or double log model in when we are using the dummy regression model 
okay then can we use semi log model yes we can do semi log we can use semi log model but not the lin log model linear log model we cannot use but we can use log linear model okay and when we are doing this regressions uh, we have to be very careful about this uh, heteroscedastic problem and autocollision problem okay that we will that we will see later okay and sometime there is a possibility of having dummy variable on the dependent variables okay sometime the dependent variable may be in dummy format for example whether a person is having a house or not is depends on many factors his income his job his parents wealth is the land availability okay many factors are there so here whether a person is having a home or not or whether a person is having a house or not depends that means here the owning a house is the depend variable it is taking zero and one okay so this kind of a model is known as uh, a model in which the dependent variable are in the dummy format is known as a qualitative response model okay and this kind of model we will discuss in the next semester okay when we deal with advanced econometrics okay so these are all about this chapter and if you have any doubts on the theoretical aspects as well as the practical uh, things you can ask me and if you have uh, i suggest you you read the books you read the materials and take the example from the books and practice 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 okay through practice only you will be able to understand the underlying concepts and interpretation skills uh, of these interpretations uh, of this dummy variable model okay so thank you Thank you very much.